Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy and pleasure. It's a blessing for me to be reaching out to you down in the tropics in the Caribbean and living in one of the most, if not the most, blessed island upon the face of the earth. Now, with that being said, I want to I want to speak to you concerning the spirit of America, uh, the land of opportunity. Now, there are many of my brothers and sisters who would have left what I would call paradise, uh, what some would refer to as third world countries which I see third world as the real world, the world where you have the mother, the father, and the children, where there's true family, where you can be united with nature, and where you have the father shining down on you all day wrong, okay, and they believe places like America, England, Canada, those places are the land of opportunity when the land of opportunity is not far from you. But the land of opportunity is right between these two ends right here. Okay, so basically what I'm saying there is to look within and not to look outside of you for greatness or for opportunities, okay? Now, with that being said, I just wanna say how much when I look around and see how much that the people in the tropics are going after the lifestyle and the ways of American becoming so Americanized in their thinking because of the television and the media in general I want to reach out to our melanated people to tell them that when you allow the mentality or the spirit or the energy of America to take over your mind. You are actually living in Sodom and Gomorrah, which is really basically your lower self. Even if you're down here in the tropics, where you can live in the blessing and in the flow of this universal energy in its most powerful and purest way. When you allow the infiltration or allow yourself to be infiltrated by the American way of living and thinking, you will become contaminated. And when you become contaminated, you will no longer have the right concept of what it means to experience the, the real human experience you would not come to realize that you are spirit having a human experience and you was placed in the, in a, in the chapel for a reason. And so, our young people who been born within the, like say, the, the 90s and so on, who do not quite understand what life used to be before. Before the television and all of these obstacles 
Now I've been put before them so they, they wouldn't find their, their, their true self. What it used to be like. But I born 71. Or oh, in other words, I was expressed on the face of this earth in 71. And I have to speak that way because I know that I am eternal. Okay, but I want you to understand what I'm saying, so I'm bringing it across that way to you. And the thinking and lifestyle of the people was different. And me sitting here and speaking to you is to bring us back to be sane again. Because everything about America and what it has to offer is going to bring you to a place of insanity where you would become a slave and not be able to discover who you are. The food, the lifestyle, all of this commercial. All this commercial on the TV and the internet, all the false hope. And many will leave and come back to these islands speaking differently and pretending when they are up there they have to go to work in the in, in, in winter in autumn doesn't matter what the condition is and then they give false impression only for some food some clothes and shelter and they have all that down here in the tropics so to all my brothers and my sisters who might be thinking of leaving these parts and going to America, Canada, England because you think well there is no opportunity and there is no work and all of these things I just want to bring across this message as, a, as an encouragement to you to let you know that I've been sent to tell you that the power of achievement is in you and all you have to do is to change your belief system stop worshiping the white man as God stop believing in Jesus Christ as a person who existed 2000 years ago stop believing in a God outside of yourself and know that you are God not, by, not intellectually but know that by experience and to know that by experience you have to embrace nature you have to live more closer to nature but most of all you have to change your belief system so with that being said my brothers and my sisters I hope you get the message I'm trying to bring across to you as I will always say to you, do not look to me for intellect. Do not look to me for uh, a scholar, but just a messenger being led by his intuition and put his hope and his trust in nothing else but the inner man which is his intuition and asking you to do the same so that you will come to discover the highest version of yourself. With that being said, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. And as usual, I want to always give you this sign. The sign of the sun. The sign of the one eye. The real eye. Your mind's eye.
the rising of the sun a new symbol with that being said I want to always as usual encourage you to read Matthew 622 that says if your eye be single your whole body will be full of light with that being said I want to say peace love you take care